안녕하세요. 123 김치의 태연입니다. Hello everyone. It's so good to see you again at 123 김치. Today we go back to the basics. How to make perfect pop. Pop stands for cooked or steamed short grain rice and is the main staple of Korean cuisine or is the main dish of Korean rice table. Today we're going to add 123 kimchi twist to this foolproof recipe, quinoa. This healthy twist will beautifully pair with our lentil doenjangjigae. What's more, I will share my tips on keeping variety and mixing rice and grains, so be sure to watch the entire video. So now, shall we start with the ingredients first? Here's short grain rice or sushi rice. I usually rinse it 3 to 4 times to get rid of the excess starch. So for the first time, because there are some impurities, you want to quickly rinse it and get rid of the water. Now the second time, I'm going to rub it gently. And by doing this, we're getting rid of the excess starch on the grains of rice. That means after you cook the rice, it'll be more fluffy and the rice won't clump up together. Third time, and the water seems to get clearer. Then the fourth time. Now we have almost clear water. Drain the rice and set aside. Also rinse quinoa in a colander and add it to the pot. Add the water. The ratio of grain to water is 1 cup of grain to 1.2 cups of water. If you have some time, it's good to let it stand for 30 minutes to soak in some water before cooking. Also, I'm using a small size pot, but you can use any cooking vessels that you have. You can use casserole pan or pot, coated pan, anything works if it has a lid. If you're using rice cooker, then you can put the rice in the pot, rinse it, soak it, and press the button. For Dutch oven pot and cast iron pan, the method will be written down below. Heat over high heat and bring it to a boil first. Once the rice fully boils, give it a quick stir. Close the lid and reduce the heat to low heat and simmer it for 15 minutes. And before I turn this off, I'm going to let the excess water evaporate over medium heat for 10 seconds and then turn the heat off. It gives extra fluffiness and flavors. I know it smells so good already, but don't open the lid yet. With the lid still closed, I'm going to let it sit for another 5 minutes. This allows the steam inside the pot to fully cook to the core of the rice. Gently mix and fluff the rice with spatula. Now we're ready to serve this warm bowl of rice. So fluffy and tasty. 
perfect amount of water and perfect cooking time. The only thing that's missing right now, can you guess what it is? That's kimchi. Tired of quinoa? Koreans love mixing in multi grains or beans to the rice, so try it yourself too. I usually try to keep 30 to 70 ratio to grains and white rice. Try with oats, black rice, barley, uh, brown rice, and etc. And for beans, red, white, and black beans, uh, green lentils, brown lentils, chickpeas, everything works. But FYI, some beans do need some soaking in advance before cooking. So be sure to check out my website in the link below to see the details. So did this recipe change your rice game? What rice grain bean mixes did you like the best? Please share with us in the comment below and don't forget to share this video, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. One, two, three, kimchi!